Hello everybody. In today's video, I would like to share with you some amazing features that have just been released in Copilot. So if you have Copilot Labs, I will show it to you if we go directly to extensions and here, Copilot, you have the, the Copilot everybody knows, GitHub Copilot, then you have GitHub Copilot chat. This one comes with GitHub Copilot Labs. And that's the third one, also official by GitHub. But this one allows you to chat with your code, to ask questions, a little bit like you would ask questions to your peers, to your colleagues. Well, it's exactly the same here with Copilot. So what's amazing here with the latest release is that you can even ask questions about your entire code base. I know it's super cool. So if we use the workspace command, so the second one, and then I will ask where, where is the, the, the sign up endpoint and automatically copilot will look in my workspace directory and automatically it will tell me oops now lost copilot is here it will tell me where i should look and that's a file and indeed my sign up oh even better the sign up endpoint is different yeah, in the user controller and then here if i look there indeed that's the sign up endpoint correct you see it's really powerful especially when you are in a you're working with a large a large code base it can be quite difficult to find sometimes a feature something you need to find right away quickly okay i can have a look by looking for some keywords but it might not be accurate here i just i'm just asking for something you know very very generic it's just a word like now where is the hashing password in the code i don't even have to mention in the code and again automatically copilot will look for me and will show me more or less where he believes, where it believes it's located. So here, user service, all right. And again, you know, some explanations, some further information, and automatically Copilot found the function I'm using to hash the password, the bcrypt hash. And now I can ask, can, is, is that, function save for hashing passwords and right away i will have an answer again like before i can ask copilot to give me further information you know like explain this fix this generate docs generate tests it's so amazing um, everything you can do and you see that's a comment and I can automatically accept the, um, here's like a, a JS doc to accept it or not. And here, you know, the code snippets you have provided, um, oh, it's incomplete. Okay. Maybe it doesn't have all information, but at least I know a little bit more about the sort is unique for each user um, and it cannot really look if it's saved safely in the database probably but here i have further information if i should should i leave it as it is and again it's really like you are speaking to a really knowledgeable senior software engineer now senior maybe not because again copilot is ai and it will never replace a senior software engineer in terms of human thinking and it's it will tell you what it knows 
from the huge data and the huge model that has been trained for Copilot, but you have limitations and you have to be aware of this and you have to make the final decision. Don't be dumb, don't be stupid because of Copilot, but Copilot can help you a lot and especially can boost so much your productivity easily by free, times free. So again, here it will suggest to me if I should leave it or not, but it needs yeah more information. But at least you have an overview of now what you can do with um, with the workspace command, and you also have the VS Code command. And now ask about VS Code, where you know you can ask different questions. But usually you would use the comment the comment workspace so powerful so good and i'm sure yeah you will use it a lot because normally you cannot send so much information about the code base to gpt4 this is why there is like a limited amount of tokens but here with the comment it sends granularly small information and that's how copilot can understand your project's code base and can tell you really specific information about where is one function or about how you can use that endpoint to do X, Y, or Z. Uh, again, here I can ask, or I can just ask about the file actually. There is a comment, I think it's this one, so hash file colon and then with me if i want to ask in the with me file name so i will ask directly for that file does it explain how to set up the project and right away if that's the comment it will tell me and then you can check apparently it's not that one so yeah that's correct normally you have like file and then you can ask questions for a specific file inside of that file i'm not sure why here the scope it doesn't work at the moment i only have terminal that's command because i can also interact with my terminal directly and for some commands and changing commands with copilot but technically you also have this probably something I need to change in my VS Code. You can do file and then the name of the file, the file name. So like readme, for instance, and then I can do, I can do like setup project and automatically it will look inside of the readme, how the readme speaks about setting up the project and it will give me the relevant information. And that way I don't have to go manually in my with me to understand or oh, uh, setting up the project is this way or that way. All right, so this is all for now. This is all for today. Again, you can explore so much. There are so much features you can do easily. You can just speak to your copilot. You also have the voice copilot. I don't use it at the moment. You also have, you know, the fix me debug i already spoke about them in a, another video and so the voice copilot oops i just go to extension is this one that one i have it disabled at the moment because i need at least java 14 and i need to install that one because i don't have i think i have java a old version like java 12 at the moment on my on my local on my computer but it's also a really really good one if you are a bit lazy to you know to just to type on your keyboard and you just want to speak or maybe because you got injured and you cannot use your hands or maybe because you are a bit tired of using your hands or for some other reasons maybe medical reasons you can't use your fingers and this is why copilot voice can help you so much to create amazing software